What a privilege for me to be with you and to share the living Word of God. The more we spend time with the Word of God, and also if we equate the Word of God as God, our lives will never be the same again. The scripture portion that I was meditating on is written in three of the Gospels in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It is the story about where Jesus says, who touched me? Who touched me? The story goes like this. He was teaching and then a leader of the synagogue came to him. His name is Jairus. His daughter became very ill to the point of death and he asked Jesus to come to his house and to heal his daughter and Jesus left immediately. The crowds followed him and as he was in his route to Jairus' home, the crowds became even more. So it was like he was pressed in into the crowd, point of being crushed. Along with the crowd movement, we see a woman that appears in the story. She had an issue of blood for 12 years. That is a long time to be sick, to be chronically ill. First of all, to, to have such loss of blood it physically you are so weak in your body emotionally you are drained financially she was all spent physically because of this issue of blood and in the time where she lived there were rules and regulations that were in her society anytime she had that issue of blood she was considered unclean so Till the issue of blood had passed, she could come in contact and go into society again. But to have this constant flow of blood for 12 years, she was considered unclean by her community, by her family, any place. And she, was, she couldn't even handle money. She could not be around people. So she was isolated, despondent, and full of despair because she did not have a life that she wanted to have. And here's this woman, having heard probably about Jesus, she was at the last, she was in her last hope of getting any sort of healing and restoration back into society. She pressed through the crowd. And as she was pressing through the crowd, she knew she was unclean, which is punishable as a crime in the society. So she said, if my only hope is to even touch the hem of his garment. See, as a rabbi, you have an outer cloak that you put on and around all four corners, there were four little tassels that were there. And that tassels represented that he belonged and he belonged to God. He was a special person. Jesus had this rabbinical cloak on him and she said if I could just go and touch the hem or those little tassels I will be made whole that was an intense faith that was rising in her because of the desperation she was in and so what happens is the story goes like this she goes and touches and you can see the crowd pressing in Jesus disciples everyone is pressing in Jesus, when she touched the hem of his garment, power drained from his body. And he turned around and said, who touched me? The disciples are saying, there are people thronging around you and you're asking us this question, who touched you? He said, yes, somebody touched me where virtue was depleted from my body or power was drained from my body. The woman being fearful, she just trembled and fell at his feet and said, it is me. Jesus looked at her and said, daughter, your faith has made you well. There are a lot of points we can learn from this. Faith rose up when, within her because she was so desperate. She was so desperate for a touch from God and she had lost all hope. She was left lonely. The point of loneliness was beyond her comprehension. She wanted an answer. She went to the one that she knew had an answer. 
even if it meant risking her life, she went to him. And the thing about God, Jesus, is that he, along with the crowd, he stopped and he looked at her and he appreciated her faith. He said, daughter, your faith has made you well. What does he do? He's en route to going to someone's house. So he didn't bother that he was inconvenienced. He stopped everything and gave her his undivided attention. And then he says, he restored her back into society. He said, even though the society may disown you and may not like you, I call you daughter. You are precious in my sight. And then he says, go in peace. And what does that mean? He says, not only is your body restored, not only is your emotionally you're going to be restored, financially the Lord will probably bless her because she won't have to deplete her finances anymore. The important thing is she found peace for her life. In order for us to get peace, we can uh, uh, say that it was salvation that she received. She was restored back. And her imperfect, it was her faith was imperfect, but she came. It had a little bit of superstition, probably thinking that, that the touching the cloth would make her well. Jesus corrected and said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you whole. Not me, not you touching the hem of my garment. So a lot of the things that we may think that we may not really understand, but God understands our imperfect faith. But he understands and he gives attention to us and he wants us to completely come in faith to him. The life points or the lessons we can learn from this is that come as you are, reveal yourself truly to Him, and God will continue to restore you, to reestablish you. Has God ever looked at you and said, who touched me? How can we touch God? We can touch Him by our sincere devotion to Him. We can touch Him by wanting to spend that time with Him. We can touch Him by reaching out to others and show this life of faith that we're living to others. Are we able to touch the heart of God through intercession, through prayer, to live a life that will be an example to so many? And I pray that this has touched you. Ask yourself, is God really approving the way I live? Am I touching the heart of God? by showing compassion, having sincere devotion to Him, and giving all of myself to the will and purpose of God. That woman need was commended and restored back into society. Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. What a loving Savior we have. The Lord wants you to come to Him. Surrender your all to Him so that He can, if you're having the state of despondency and despair, being ostracized from everyone, He welcomes you into the family of God because He will call you son or daughter. You are special in His sight. Don't ever feel that you have to walk this journey alone. God is with you. There's countless people around you who want to help you through this process. Reach out to those who are there who can help you. And I pray that this has touched you as it's touched me. May the Lord bless you.